Happy Melly Monday! Last week we surpassed 100 subscribers and to mark the occasion I want to embroider myself a sign. So I've got an embroidery hoop, some leftover white fabric and lots of green and pink yarns. I'm starting by securing my fabric in the hoop and sketching my design on with a pencil. In the middle I want to have the large number 100. Underneath I'm centering the word subscribers and at the top I want to have the date that I reach the milestone, so the 24th of June. The pencil is a bit hard to make out on camera, so I'm starting an embroidery by tracing the outlines with a backstitch. Whilst that is happening, I firstly want to thank all of you so much for watching and subscribing. I had hoped to reach 100 subscribers at the end of the year, so to go from 37 to the 224 that you are right now in less than two weeks is kind of overwhelming. So again, thank you so much. Now, for the special episode, I asked you last week to give me some questions that I should answer and you gave me loads of good ones, so let's start with the basic information. My name is Melly, my pronouns are she, her, I'm 24 and I live in Germany. Lemongrass and Melly asked me my favourite colour, food and ice cream. Obviously pink is one of my favorite colors, but I also like purple and rainbow. My favorite food is most kinds of pasta, like spaghetti carbonara or lasagna. And my favorite ice cream is the white chocolate flavor from that one ice cream parlor in town here, but otherwise I really like vanilla and strawberry. The next question is how I got into crocheting and crafting in general and I think it just is a thing that has always been done in my family. I do remember my mom and grandma teaching me the basics like sewing, knitting, crocheting and embroidery when I was a small child, maybe three or four years old, and a bit later machine sewing when I wanted a new dress for my doll, I might have been seven years. And as the oldest child, I was always the one to help my dad with the woodworking and renovations around the house. So crafting just always was a thing that was done around here. But I never did that much with it growing up. Until a few years ago, I found a book on how to crochet stuffed animals. And I kind of fell in love with crafting and especially crocheting. Now back to the embroidery. I finished the outlines, so now I'm filling in the background color and the numbers by going back and forth horizontally until the spaces are filled. I'm just continuing the exact same thing until all the numbers are filled and I'm not too concerned about it being perfect as now it will be covered in loads of flowers. I do have to say that I've never embroidered flowers before, so I'm just picking a random color and some flowery pattern and then I make a few flowers in each number before moving on to the next color. Whilst that is happening, let's go back to the questions. Lacewing is asking what inspired me to start this channel. 
like I said, I rediscovered my passion for crocheting and making stuff a few years ago, but I found that I was running out of reasons to make things. I mean, you can only give so many stuffed animals and crocheted pencil cases to your friends and family before they get tired of them. Now, I had always wanted to be a YouTuber. I just always thought that I'd be a Minecraft YouTuber, but that kind of never happened. So I eventually decided that I'd be a crafting YouTuber and I filmed me sewing my friend's ball gown just using my phone as a camera. And then it took another two years until I finally got the push and actually edited and published the video and I've just been going ever since. It all works really nicely since it gives me a reason to make all the things I've always wanted to make but it also keeps me on a schedule as the videos kinda have to come out on the Belly Mondays, preferably at 3pm German time. Sort of relating to that last question, Bina is asking me what are the YouTube channels I'm inspired by, and there are a lot of them, so I'm dividing them into categories. First, there are the channels that I kind of want to be like, which is mostly Nerdforge, but also Mariah Elizabeth, Delightful, and Bernadette Banner. Then there is a category of channels that just inspire me to get up and do something, and there are quite a few of them. There are The Boat Builders, Acorn to Arabella, Project Brupec, Samson Boat Co. and Salt and Tar. The Homesteaders, Tiny Shiny Home and My Little Homestead. The Log House Builders, Nick and Maella, Lance and Cinder, Myself Reliance, Trust and Timber, Eric Granqvist and Nick Riavec as well as Colin Furs and Tom Scott. Now the most important category of channels are my friends who actually inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. They are General Pests, First Class Caveman, Syria Black and Bexy. Because they, as well as all my other friends and basically every small YouTuber ever, have given me the courage to just start my channel because you don't need like a good mic or a fancy camera or loads of experience. You just need an idea and a bit of time and just start. Anyway, all of these channels are linked in the description if you want to give them a watch yourself. Now the last question from Lemongrass is actually my favorite question and it is what is my favorite question to answer? And I just love how meta this question is. And I also love that I hadn't expected it at all because I'd wanted to be a YouTuber for a long time now and I'd always planned to do a Q&A for my milestones so I'd kind of thought and even dreamt about what questions might get asked every now and then, so it's very unexpected to find one I hadn't thought of myself. Meanwhile, I'm done embroidering the flowers. They definitely could be improved with some practice, but I'm really happy with them. So after securing the fabric on the back side, I can hang it on my wall. And that was it for this week's special episode. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more handmade content every Melly Monday, and give me your feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Thank you again so much, and I'll see you next Melly Monday.